gonna be doing some stuff. Now, you guys have heard, this is, I'm getting my van right now. Turn this AC down. Now you guys have heard the verses, right? Everybody knows these verses. Anyone who's been in the gospel for a while knows the, the scripture verses that talk about selling everything you have and going to preach the gospel to every creature, every tribe, tongue, and nation, right? We know the Great Commission, go into all the world and preach. And there's a very romantic view of that, right? A lot of people, especially younger people, they have this very romantic view of doing that, of going and selling everything you have for the gospel. And I did that when I was 16, so there wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal, right? Like I didn't have anything to sell, didn't have much to do. It was just sort of pack up a backpack and go off into the mission field. Well, today my parents are doing that. Now my parents have been missionaries down in Panama for almost three years now. They, and they're old people. So they retired and they went down and it was sort of, uh, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see where this goes. They knew the Lord had called them for years. They had been planning on going, but they didn't know it was, you know, you're going down to a nation they'd never lived overseas. So they wasn't sure, sure what it was going to be like. Well, they went, they've been preaching the gospel, doing things for the Lord and loved it. And now they have decided to make it a full on move. So today we are moving furniture and stuff out. And this, you guys who know me, you know, I am all about being super practical and so I want to show you, there's a very romantic concept of just leaving everything behind and going to preach the gospel. Well, there's a very practical side, especially when you've been living in a house for 20 years. And that's what this today is going to look like is we're moving 20 years worth of stuff out of this house. And then they're going to have an estate sale on the weekend and they're just selling everything to go spend the rest of their life down in Panama for the gospel. So let's get into it. I am recording, yes. Stop. No. 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 Hey! What's this? Don't forget your say-so. Why are you following? You don't cook. What's the fun? was too scared to drive on her own. Let's try. Try not to run over daddy. Yes, we do. Nothing is strapped down. See the big blue the big blue dumpster was rented to dump stuff. Living out here, the constant fight against nature. In these acres, four acres, and the spiders. Look at this. I don't know if you can see this. There's spider webs everywhere. Look at that. I don't know if you can see them. These get wiped off. I don't think you can see them. But these get white like every day. See, we walk through this. See, this walkway. We come, we're on this every single day, and the spiders come out every night and rebuild their fortresses. Of destruction. Anna, where, where, why don't you tell people about your frappuccino you got going on there? There you go. This is her pistachio frappuccino that we try to duplicate using slime. Isn't it amazing? Like, wouldn't you want to drink it? If you smelt it, it smells like shaving cream. 
I yeah. better look good on this because what Anna this? has a YouTube video called Slime Time, is that correct? Well we're changing the name to Slime Tastic or something. Slime Tastic. Everybody has Slime Time. So slime look. Empress. Slime Empress. Slime Empress. And she's gonna wear a crown every time. A crown made of dried out slime. <laughs> yeah, so check no, out her what? YouTube channel. I have that lipstick on, and I'm a little vain, so this is really kind of bothers me. But um, what do you want to know? So okay, so we we moved to Panama three years ago in Volcan to um, do ministry with Found 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 Ministries. Over the process of of it all, we decided that it is time to sell everything. And because we were coming back here and coming back here, we never knew, well, what if we want to come back? What if we, but now we are, I mean, this is like 30, more than 35 years, because it was my step and his step before we got married. I mean, we have just got our whole life in this little bitty cabin and in these two barns. And, and we were foster parents, so I have tons of stuff I just couldn't part with, like thousands of toys, thousands, like. Don't I have thousands? Like, didn't I have so Oh, much? there's buckets and, and totes. And books that, because I'm a reader, so I don't know if anybody on this earth can have as many books as I. I have already taken like 20 bags, lawn and leaf, green meal, to Goodwill of books because I just didn't feel like going to half price bookstores because, you know, they just give you a dollar anyway. But anyway, um, this is it. This is now my house looks a wreck because everything's pulled out. And my daughter, Anna, over there, she makes slime. So we have slime stuff all over, and she she does Barbie videos. So she cuts out. I don't even know. She cuts out the stuff. Like all of this horse stuff. It's all over. The, it's all over the house. She makes these little, well, they're little pictures. So she'll cut them out and she'll hang them on the walls of her house. But right now we're hoping with this estate sale, because we want to go to Uganda with Found Ministries, and we are hoping because it's expensive to sell enough stuff to be able to pay for our tickets. Right, but that you're, yes, you're gonna go to Uganda with us, but you're moving to Panama. Like you're selling oh, we, this well, stuff, but you're- in, We really live in Panama. But you're Panama. literally selling your house Everything. and your stuff, Everything. and you are moving go, down mm -hmm. to Panama. Okay, well we, yeah, we've been living in Panama, so we've just finally decided to get rid of it all, because we never knew where we were gonna come back. But we are gonna get a small storage building because there are some books I just can't part with. Like really, I cannot part with some books. And uh, photo albums and her first doll. You know, stuff like that I just can't, I just can't do. So we're hoping to find a cheap storage building that we could put our stuff in. And when we come back to visit, because all of our family is here, we'll probably stay in an Airbnb or something. It'll still work out to be more um, cost efficient than paying our mortgage on this house every month and insurance and taxes. I think that's good. This is the practical side of actual of actually oh, selling everything you have and go. You're young and you haven't accumulated so much stuff. I don't know that it's easier, but because it's still emotionally difficult sometimes to leave everybody behind. But this is if you're older. And you've accumulated your life like this. That's what it looks like. Check. In the slime it. Well now I'm just getting distracted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't go anywhere. Checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> I win. It's not fair. Yeah, because Anna's making slime. She's 
distracting me. You can me. order this awesomeness. How? <laughs> when we're ready and set up. <laughs> there is way more to it than that and we're not even I mean this is just today we've been we've actually been moving stuff for just small getting ready stuff for a couple days and there's gonna be several more stuff out and uh, the estate sale this weekend which maybe I'll show some just to show you guys a little bit but that's that's pretty much it I mean this is the practical side right of going into missions like my my mom said 35 years of stuff being hauled out and everything has a memory everything has some sentiment behind it and you have to just give all that stuff up to go so that's been today we've been working hard all day and uh, God is so good to let us do these adventures and it's such a blessing and so I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please if you haven't subscribed already subscribe we don't as you can see we don't have a lot of subscribers right now so we're trying to build it help us to get the word out about found ministries if you haven't liked our Facebook page found ministries like it and is as I go on outreach in exactly 14 days, I'm gonna go into all these nations and you can keep up with me, watch all the adventures and because I will be recording a lot and showing you all the really the inside nitty gritty of what it is like to be a missionary and see God move, see the adventures, but see the power of God, watch God move, watch the miracles, watch everything that he does on our behalf. It is an awesome adventure and I wanna take you with me on it. So keep watching, stay tuned, there's more adventure coming. Thank <laughs> you.